Hey guys, so today we're going to be um, changing the air filter on a Milwaukee 8, either 107 or 114. It just depends on which one you have, whether you have the standard or the special. It's going to be the same process for either or. Uh, you're going to only need two simple tools. So you're going to need a uh, size 8 Allen wrench or, or and a T27 star key. So to start off, you're going to use your Allen wrench and you're going to break off this main bolt on the cover. It's a pretty short bolt, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to back that out, make sure you keep track of it, and set that off to the side. So whenever you pull off this cover, you're going to make sure that you keep the uh, seal on there. Mine wants to come off. I'm not sure if they come glued stock or not. Um, just make sure you don't lose that. Set that off to the side. And then right here is going to be the internal. So you're going to have three of those T27s. Those are going to help you um, hold that in place around the throttle body. So we're going to go ahead and break that those loose. So those are all going to be the same length, so it doesn't really matter um, which order you have them. Uh, whenever you pull this off, you're going to have your oil return lines here. So make sure you pull those off. They should have tabs on them. And then just like that, you have the air filter off. And then the oil return line is going to go ahead and have a tube that goes inside the filter. So you're just going to want to gently pull that out. Make sure you don't rip it and just set that off to the side as well. And just like that, you have your air filter off. All right, we're gonna jump over to the GoPro so I can show you all the comparison of these two filters. So here we have the two filters. This is going to be the stock Milwaukee 8 filter. Um, as you can see, mine's a little dirty. That's going to be that. And then this on the left hand side is going to be the KNN HD 1717 high flow, high performance air filter. As you can see, that is a lot thicker, has larger surface areas. And the best part about this one is that it's reusable. So you can uh, wash it out and then they sell a recharge kit where you can go ahead and put oil on it and um, just bring it back to life So it saves you money in the long run. I think it comes out to 60 70 bucks Definitely well worth it this one um, You could just chuck it out. I Have a lot of oil built up in mine, which I don't think is a good thing uh, Hopefully with our tune and everything we're gonna go ahead and take it off. So we'll get back to it Right, guys so when you have your new filter what you're going to want to do is you're going to one want to clean out your um, your oil return hose mine is really clean i've done this before so it's not too hard and it's not too dirty um, so what you're going to want to do is take your new filter whether it be the k and high flow or just a stock filter and you're going to want to feed that oil return tube in there it's going to be kind of tight um just make it work go ahead and feed it in slowly you don't want to rip anything there's lots of different um, bends in it so you're going to want to just take your time and then when you do have it all the way through there's going to be a little notch here to where you can set it up and lock it in there So just like that, we got it all set up. And the next steps are gonna be basically the same things in reverse. You're gonna to want to go ahead and connect your oil return um, tube up. And then you're gonna to wanna to set your new air filter on your throttle body. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's set in there um, nice and flush. And then you're going to thread in your three bolts by hand. 
well, I guess not by hand because this is a lot thicker um, than the stock filter. So you're gonna have to use your your T27 to get these uh, right to started. Once you get them started, you can go around evenly and get them all tightened down and make sure they're nice and even all around. the blast and annoying music like that but each their own all right so once you got all three of those tightened up it's fairly simple from here you just put your um, top cover back on and then you're gonna put that Allen bolt back through like I said the only issue you got to do when you're putting it back on is make sure this gasket doesn't move out on you if it does, you're going to have a lot of issues with uh, water getting into your throttle. So you set that on, make sure that's even, get this bolt started. And once that's started, you can go ahead and throw on the Allen wrench and tighten it up all the way. I just do mine hand tight. I'm sure there's a spec for it. I haven't had any issues so far. And just like that, that's all it takes and you're done. Like I said, you can do this with any of the stock air filters or like I said, in my case, I'm doing a budget stage one upgrade. So I'm using the HD 1717 high flow, high performance air filter. Um, you keep the stock look, you can put your own cover here if you have one or you can buy one from Harley Davidson. But with that, we are all done. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.